Hello my lovely people and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. I guess you are because you probably just watched part one that I did. This is going to be part two of the psychic development, like how you can develop your psychic abilities. It will be a good idea to watch part one because I go very deep in all the secrets. If you want to learn about a very special thing that you have in your brain, that's a part of your third eye make sure to watch it i will put a link down in the description below but in this video we are going to talk about chakras we're going to talk about the 12 chakras because yes we don't just have seven chakras we don't just have 11 chakras we have 12 chakras and they all work very closely together with your psychic abilities um and again, like I said in the other video, if you are done watching this, you are going to look at yourself in a complete different way. So let's get into the chakra magic. One thing that I didn't mention in the other video is that if you do psychic work, spiritual work, spells, whatever it is, tarot cards, be aware of no alcohol or other substances. You do not need to be drunk or to be on drugs to be in alignment with the spiritual or the universe. I just want to make that clear because some people have the mentality that if you are on drugs or if you are drunk it's easier to you know have the connection because you relax more. No, you can relax in a more natural way, natural way. And you guys are going to learn this in this video, but you also learned it in the other video that I did. So again, if you want to be psychic, watch this video and the other video. Probably pause this video and watch the other one first because it will make more sense to you. Again, you can get in contact with your senses on a more natural way because you're born with it. Again, psychic abilities is not something that just some people have. We all have it. And with this video, with the chakras, it's really going to be an eye opener for you because you're going to understand how psychic you really are. Also, if you feel sick or if you feel under the weather, it is a sign from the universe or your angels and guides, your higher self, that you need to rest and you shouldn't play around with tarot cards or again doing spells and stuff like that. I just want to say that as well because that's something I needed to learn the hard way. The same if you are in a state where you are heartbroken. Don't take your tarot cards and ask questions because you will get the answer that you don't want to listen to and you will ask more than one time until the universe is going to slap you in the face. Just saying. And obviously one of the things that you need to be in contact with your psychic senses is to raise your vibrations. I did talk more about that in the other video but I am going to talk a little bit about it in this video again. Because one of the ways that you can raise your vibration is to be in contact with the ground, the grass, the floor, whatever is underneath your feet. And an easy way to do that is to visualize lines of a light coming up under your soles into your feet. Some people also visualize roots coming up under the feet. And I am explaining this to you guys because when we work with chakras, we are working with our first chakra, which is, yes, the base chakra, but we also have the earth star. But this is just an easy practice that you can do when you work with chakras. Also, you can do this if you work with protective shield shields around you. There's a lot of noises. Um, because this is also, if you do a protective shield around you before you go out of the door, this is also something that you can do. So you're going to visualize the light the roots, whatever it is that's easier for you, going into your souls and up through your entire body. And it will make more sense to you when I talk about all chakras and how they work. I will also talk more about all chakras, like what they do for you, how you can use them. So it is going to be more clear for you. 
in the end of this video. I will obviously do a more detailed video with chakra work because again, you can go really deep into each chakra. But today this is just gonna be one big overview uh, over your entire body and over all chakras. Also, be aware of that in some beliefs, the chakras that I mention and talk about, some people, you know, switch them around so they might not be at the same place that I talk about. But the most basic way that I have learned it and that I studied is the way that I explain it today. So if you have another belief system, obviously you are welcome to explain it in a comment below. But the point with the light visualization is to, again, let it go through your entire body. You can visualize a mist, you can visualize a light, you can visualize colors, whatever is most comfortable for you. But first you do need to activate your first chakra which is the earth star. I will put pictures in so that you guys um, you know can see where they are because sometimes it is hard to like visualize when I say that it's like five inches under your feet. So pictures will be on the screen. But the Earth Star is located like 12 inches below your feet. It is the chakra of oneness which is obviously connected with Earth. It's connected with the collective consciousness of us humans and it is connected with all that is. By working with and by activating your earth star you are completing a very powerful cleansing and healing process so again it is more important to work with all your chakras and not only like the normal base chakra because again it does go more deep than that because we are again co collective <laughs> we are again co connected like around us so the more connected you feel with the earth star the more connected you will be with the divine and with the universe and with the spiritual realm one of the signs that you can pay attention to if you are activating your earth star is buzzing and vibrations in your feet it's like your filter for being more clear for being more happy and obviously for being more healthy. There is a lot of ways how you can activate your earth star. One is obviously to be by the sea, being at the beach, just to be close to the water. Laying on grass, being in nature. Again, plant your feet in the water and really feel like gratitude because gratitude is the key. And again, I did speak more about that in part one of this video. Again, it really comes down to activating your seven chakras, which which is the base, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, which again, I did speak a lot about the third eye and the pineal gland in my first video. So again, make sure to watch it. And again, the last, which is the crown chakra. And another way how you can open up for this is to visualize a waterfall of light and I did this back in the days um, and I do actually believe that it was through a guided meditation that I found on YouTube but I can't remember um, I can't remember which one it was but uh, maybe it was one of the guided meditation that Jason Stephenson did again link is down below but the visualization was that you are going through a forest and at a point you come to this like beam of light or you can also like I did visualize it as a waterfall that you're going to go through so once you step into the light you are really feeling that again your whole body and chakras are being flushed through and really visualize that the waterfall is going from your feet and up so that's another technique that you can use so guided meditations are actually pretty helpful when it comes to developing your psychic abilities so again the same way you can activate all chakras but this is just like a cleansing experience that is really going to kick off your senses but i will quickly go through the seven chakras before we go deep into i am back with a fresh battery 
what I tried to explain to you guys is that I'm going to run down the seven chakras before that I talk about the last and most important chakras. I mean, all chakras are important, but not everyone knows about um, the last chakras that we have above the crown chakra, which is actually like it's your DNA, it's like your soul, it's you, it's the last chakra that you're going to use to really activate your abilities and your connection with the spiritual realm. And again, I will put pictures so that you guys know where this chakra is. But the base chakra is located at the perineum. Again, I hope I pronounced that right. But again, you can also look at the picture. This chakra opens up downwards. Again, it is connected with the earth star. It connects us to the physical world and it keeps us grounded. It is said to be the collective unconscious. And obviously the base chakra is the color red. The second chakra that you have is the sacred chakra, which is orange. The sacred chakra is located like two fingers below your navel. It is related to our emotions. It's like our security, sexuality, our empowerment, creativity. The third chakra that we have is the solar plexus and it's the yellow chakra. This chakra is located at your diaphragm. Again, I will write the names on the screen as well because I might pronounce them wrong. But this chakra is like your power center. It connects us to our astral body and it helps us perceive the vibrations of others. So I guess you can say that this is where we get the negative energy from other people. So that is an interesting thing to remember. The fourth chakra is the heart chakra and it's green. And that is very important at this time because I did speak about it this in my other videos that people's heart chakras are being awakened all over the world. So remember this. This chakra is said to be the seed of unconditional love and it is related to healing, to empathy, to sympathy. It really connects us with the spiritual aspects of ourselves and of others. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra and it's blue. This chakra relates to expression and communication. It also relates to inspiration. It connects us with the mental auric body. Again, word will be on the screen. The sixth chakra is obviously the third eye chakra and it is mostly violet or it is indigo. This chakra is located slightly above and below your eyes. This chakra is related to your psychic perception and your intuition. And it's said to connect us with all levels of creation. The seventh chakra is the crown chakra and it is violet or it's white. This chakra is located on the top of your head and it opens upwards. So again, remember that the base chakra opens downward. This chakra is connected to the universal knowledge and it connects us to the spiritual realm. This is also the chakra that's becoming more open when it is that you are developing your psychic abilities. So before I talk about the last chakras that we have over the crown chakra, I am going to speak more about like the 12th, like the wholeness of it all. Because the 12th chakra is like bringing the big vision and connection to the entire universe. It's like the 12th chakra is like our whole entire being, not only the physical, but also what it is that we can see. Like our light, light being, what it is that we actually are because we are not what it is that we see in the mirror. We are really being a big part of that and it's really inspiring to really know what it is that we're capable of if 
we activate the 12th chakra because again it's like the last switch that you turn on for you know your whole entire being it's like the whole entire world is going to look very different for you if you activate that chakra so the eighth and the ninth chakra is located on top of your head the same with the 12th chakra because again it is like the hold it's the last chakra the 10th chakra is the earth star which is located underneath your base chakra we did speak about the 10th chakra in the beginning of this video which is again the earth star so let's talk about the 8th chakra i can't say the 8th the eighth. This chakra is the time transcendence and it's the connection to spirit. It is located slightly above the crown chakra, about one inch over it. It is said to access parallel, parallel universes and lives. It gives you access to the realm of your Akashic records. It is a useful center for shamanic healing and for communicating with your spirit guides. Obviously also with your angels. The ninth chakra is also called the lunar chakra. It is located further above the crown chakra and it is said to be the seed of the soul. It allows access to your soul's code, your higher purpose. It is also linked together with your North Node. It really plays a big role in shaping your destiny and it is also like the doorway into your destiny. And again, the 10th chakra, which is the Earth Star, which also some people call it the Solar Chakra. And again, this chakra is located a foot and a half below the surface of the ground. I just got told that they do a good job. I love when my guys like, yeah! It is the connection with the Earth because it is primarily working with the energy of the Earth. It's very physical in nature. It's like our physical well-being. It connects us to the grounding energies of the earth and our environment. Just like the first chakra, which is the base chakra, the root chakra. It is useful to heal any bone or bone marrow related issues. It can also play a role in any DNA related issues. And the hereditary heredity i can't remember how you pronounce it but i will write it on the screen because it's also related to that besides the dna but it is the same like in the scary movie you guys know what i'm talking about also this chakra is about like the paradigm so the dna and the paradigm so the 11th chakra that we're going to talk about is the galactic chakra this is the universe's cosmic book of life it's the mind over matter. It is said to be located outside of the human body. Again, this is related at the placement like the 12th chakra because it's like all around. But still, you know, it's up. But it's all around like the 12th chakra. It is said to be accessible through your hands and your feet. So you can say that it's what makes us whole and what makes us visible. It is connected to the seen and the unseen. It's the supernatural. It's kind of like our magic button. Shamans use this chakra's dimension to pr produce magic. Again, it influences the physical with the supernatural powers. Again, the seen and the unseen. It really emphasizes the mind as a powerful tool to really shape matter. Again, mind over matter. The 12th chakra is like the universal chakra. This chakra is multicolored, so it's like the rainbow. This chakra is like the combination. I guess that you can see it as like the energy field around the 11th chakra. It really allows us to stretch beyond our common sense. It's like the seen and the unseen. It's really what makes us understand the unity of all between the universe, between us, between everything. 
it is said to be the chakra of mastery of the soul's purpose through the soul's experiences that we have on this earth so again what i always speak about is the lesson so it's combined with that so now that we have been going through all the chakras all the magical chakras plus the first video that i made about the psychic abilities i hope that you guys have like a bigger awareness i have tingling sensations in my foot Ah, talking about this really made me wake up even more <laughs> but i hope you guys are having a bigger awareness about like who you really are what it is that you're actually capable of especially with the knowledge of the last chakras that not everyone is talking about but again let me know in a comment below what you think about this remember to like so that people can get this knowledge and i will sign off for now and see you guys in my next video bye